know thy fundamentals. So you probably remember that earlier in the course I talked about the importance of building up a strong foundation. Well, your strong foundation is built upon fundamentals that you need to know to be successful in poker, both in the short term and in the long term, because your fundamentals really are your bedrock. They're your solid foundation. And you need to know these fundamentals to be successful at all levels in poker because they're going to let you understand the game at a deeper level than your opponents. And also, when you know these fundamentals, then you can apply more intermediate and advanced tactics and strategies by truly understanding why they work. Because you know these fundamentals and you know why the fundamentals work. So one of your primary goals should be as when you're starting out in poker and you're looking to improve your game, should be to master these fundamentals. You should seek to master these first and then after you master them, then move on to more intermediate and advanced topics. So let's talk about these fundamentals. And we're gonna talk about pre-flop and post-flop fundamentals. Now, I've listed some of the more important fundamentals I think you should know. However, these lists that I'm gonna show you are not all inclusive. So understand that I could spend hours and hours talking about these. So I'm not going to go into detail, I'm just going to highlight what they are. And it's your job as a student of the game to go seek out information. There are books written on these, there are courses created on these. I have several courses that cover pre-flop and post-flop play. And there are training sites that you can subscribe to that have tons of videos on all this. So there's lots of resources out there on the internet. You just have to seek it out and you just have to find it. And trust me, it's out there. It's easy to find. It's very plentiful. There are numerous training sites. I have my courses. I'm actually working on a book that's going to be talking about this. There's numerous other books out there that talk about this. So the knowledge and information is out there and available because a lot of people are taking this knowledge and information and they're disseminating it everywhere. It's on YouTube. It's everywhere. So don't feel as if you're not going to be able to find this information because it's readily available for you to find. Now, if you do have issues trying to find what you think is effective, please let me know. Ask me a question in the discussion board. Post me a message as a private message, and I'll be happy to help you. I'll be happy to point you in the right direction. But anyways, let's get back to pre-flop fundamentals. So what should you master? Well, you should master your raising ranges, so your open raising ranges, your calling ranges, and your three betting and your three bet defense ranges. So remember, we should never be open limping. Hopefully you've heard this. You should be open raising or folding. So that's why we have open raising ranges. We don't have limping ranges on here because that's weak passive poker. We want to play aggressive poker. You should have calling ranges for different opponents and different opening positions. And then you should develop a three betting range. Of course, first start with a value linear range. And then as you improve, you can start implementing a three bet polarized range that includes bluffs as well. Now for your three betting, you have to understand how to defend against three bets as well. Once somebody three bets you. So you need to defend a standard range for defending against three bets as well. You need to implement an effective set mining strategy. So set mining is, for those of you that aren't aware of this term, this is when you have a pocket pair pre-flop and you're looking to spike sets on the flop. So a set is three of a kind where if one of your cards hits the flop, then you have three of a kind, which is called a set. It's called trips if you have one card and two cards hit the board. So understand that's where set mining comes from. And there are effective strategies for set mining and there are ineffective strategies for set mining because the odds of hitting a set on the flop are roughly one in eight times. So it's not going to happen that often. So the situation has to be fairly ideal for you to effectively set mine. You also need to understand the art and science behind stealing the blinds because there's a lot of money in that. And you also need to understand how to defend your blinds against people that are trying to steal it. And then the lastly, the two last items I have on here is isolation raising and squeezing. So these are two tactics and strategies that we use against weaker opponents. And you definitely need to understand these. Now, like I said, there's more tactics and strategies and fundamentals you need to know, but this is a good starting point. So start with these and then expand out after this. So now let's talk about post-flop. 
what should you seek to master as fundamentals for post-flop play? Well, the list can go on and on and on for post-flop because it can be very complex. So we're going to start with the basics. You need to understand board textures. So you need to understand board textures and how those affect both your ranges of hands and your opponent's ranges of hands. So the first two items, board textures and hand ranges, go hand in hand, no pun intended. Because you need to be able to read board textures to understand what likely type of hands your opponents have and what type of hands they put you on as a perceived range. You need to understand the reasons for betting, which we covered in this course. Remember, there's two primary reasons for betting, bluffing and value betting. You need to understand continuation betting. You need to understand when you should continuation bet, when you shouldn't continuation bet, when you can do a delayed continuation bet, and so forth. You need to understand how to play both made hands and drawing hands. And you need to understand the art and science behind bluffing and semi-bluffing. And I can just go on and on and on. There's so much in regards to the post-flop, but again, this is a good starting point. So, in summary, remember, know thy fundamentals. Thy fundamentals are your foundational bedrock that's going to help you be a solid winning poker player. Focus on pre-flop and post-flop fundamentals. Master those fundamentals, and then after you master them, expand out your game and start learning more intermediate and advanced pre-flop and post-flop fundamental tactics and strategies.